this is Justin Aquilanti, ESA Sales Director, here today with Michael Konzerski, uh, Director of Sales, Western U.S. for Wartzilla. Michael, welcome. Um, given the current situation in, in, in the world with COVID-19 and all the challenges around that, um, but yet the continued growth of energy storage, where do you see Wartzilla you know, finishing out 2020, looking at 2021 and beyond? Yeah, certainly. It's a, it's a great question. Thanks, Justin. Um, challenging times, and we've been doing our best to prioritize safety. Wartzilla is a, a global business, and this is a global event. So, um, you know, we've, we've we were going through a number of uh, active project scenarios when COVID really started to hit and lockdowns began to come in place. And it took, uh, it took a moment to kind of pause and prioritize safety for the personnel who were in the field and, and obviously getting everybody working from home where we could. Um, luckily, we've been able to do uh, a number of project commissionings through the first half of 2020 successfully. And uh, we've done that safely with um, very few, you know, incidents whatsoever. Um, and looking forward to the next 12 months, we have a number of large projects here in the U.S. that will be coming online. And happy to say that so far, COVID has minimally impacted our, our manufacturing. Um, we're luckily on three different continents when it comes to manufacturing capabilities. And that certainly helps um, as things evolve state by state, region by region, continent by continent. So, um, yeah. Michael, as a leading integrator in the storage industry, what do you think has been the most impactful or surprising in terms of the potential energy storage in the U.S. and abroad? Yeah, in the past year, uh, we've been pretty amazed at the scale of projects um, growing by some factor, right? You know, in, in, the, in the past, I'd say three, four years, you know, our largest installation was 80 megawatt hours. On average, they were probably around two to 10 megawatt hours. And now we're looking at projects up to a gigawatt hour, um, single assets in the U.S. And so that that is a whole different scale that the entire industry is trying to scale up with very quickly as we see an unprecedented number of awards in the industry as well. Um, you know, I think most encouraging for us in, in the U.S. market is seeing the progress in no small part thanks to ESA uh, with FERC 41 and hopefully the um, continued progress of the storage ITC on the horizon. Um, particularly as we see the, the other ITCs fade away. So um, from a market opportunity standpoint, that is leading to a lot of interest, not just in the primary markets where we've seen growth recently, um, but also in the Midwest and the South and, and Northeast, um, really accelerating. So exciting times. Michael, what is the most critical need in the energy storage industry currently? Right. I, I think, you know, going back to the earlier question on, industry scaling so fast, um, the, the focus around institutional investors or investors in general and financing, looking to secure publicly traded off takers is huge. And having those type of guarantees behind performance of these hundreds of million billion dollar assets um, that the storage industry is now becoming. Um, luckily, as, as you know, Greensmith was acquired by Vortilla three years back in 20, 2017. Um, we were now part of a uh, 186 year old business publicly traded uh, with global infrastructure and support and people. So, you know, that's been a great answer to how do we continue to be able to keep up with developers and utilities who see this need for storage increasing on a yearly basis. I also want to touch on Justin after, um, after that thought actually, um, you know, also the need for vertically integrated solution sets. And so, Portilla being an end-to-end -end supplier of energy storage equipment, both from battery modules all the way up to the software controls and market interfacing um, algorithms is, is a really important piece that we're seeing really kind of fleshed out in real time as we go through contracting and realizing that we've been filling a gap that many customers have had in their deployment of energy storage for some time. And that is being able to blend energy management systems or EMS with market facing power plant controllers. And that's what the GEMS uh, Greenspan Energy Management System has been doing for, for 10 plus years now. Michael, could you tell us about a recent groundbreaking storage project? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, broad strokes in the US, we have a handful of um, opportunities that came online this year. Um, one large system in the WEC, which is coupled to uh, actually a, a wind resource. And then um, working on, and an, 
uh, an ongoing deployment for the next few years where we're actually integrating for a utility IOU all of their energy storage assets uh, using the Greensmith Energy Management System, our GEMS power plant controller and EMS. And so that's a really exciting opportunity where we're seeing not just Fortzilla hardware integrations uh, of battery storage, but other resources and other battery storage systems being controlled over a centralized um, controller. Uh, in addition to that, though, the next couple of years uh, on the horizon for us has a lot of hybrid, um, additional hybrid assets, um, specifically solar and storage uh, across the, the WEC and elsewhere. So excited to talk about those in more detail as they come online. Michael, could you talk about the role that software is playing in the storage technology mix? Yeah, a really important one. Um, this is something that Fortilla has really excelled and focused in ever since Greensmith in 2010 started rolling out the Greensmith Energy Management System. Um, so that GEMS platform is, you know, an end-to-end -end solution for energy storage hardware, as well as other grid-connected resources. And, you know, with that comes a lot of responsibility. And, and one thing we've really keyed in on this year is cybersecurity. Um, well before the executive order came, came out, um, we received the uh, IEC 62443 security certification and compliance approvals, um, which in addition to GEMS being, for instance, the KISO certified rig, um, really bolsters our, what we think is a leading position when it comes to energy management systems and uh, control of power plants and, and energy assets. So super important, um, you know, from operation of the system to maintenance and visibility to hardware, maintaining warranties, um, you know, the GEM system has really had that in mind over the past 10 years. Michael, thank you very much for, for today, taking time out of your day today. I heard a lot of really interesting things that I think all the attendees should really focus on when they're thinking about Wardzilla. One of the keys, prioritizing safety was, was really challenging right now and making sure that that's number one in the mindset. Scaling up and the challenges and, and how Wardzilla is scaling up, filling a gap, end-to-end -end solutions, and most importantly, I heard over and over again was the Greensmith Energy Management System, or GEMS, if you will. It sounded like you guys are really taking off there and a leg up on the competition in terms of that. We look forward to seeing you and your colleagues at ESA Con 20. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Justin. Look forward to getting together when it's, uh, when it's possible again soon. Thank you.